Have you decided what you're gonna do? I I have a plan. What the bloody hell are you two going on about? Nothing you need to worry about, Gaiden. Just a little friendly competition between brothers. <laughs> We're calling it past the smash. We are most definitely not calling it that, pup. You fucking what now? We're taking turns being your protection, while trying not to actually have to, uh, engage. Aye. We've got your back with Nerea, pup. But only so far. <laughs> There you are. You were supposed to meet me in my quarters last evening. Did something happen? Aye. Farkas got a paper cut in the library yesterday. Seeing as he faints at the sight of blood, I'm afraid it took him all night to recover. I can't believe you went there. How disappointing. Perhaps it is best we reschedule for another time. I would prefer you be at your peak strength. Vilkas, I thought you said you were interested in a private alchemy session last evening. He was helping get an old lady's goat out of a tree, but slipped and got a splinter in his ass. Took all night to pull it out. Seriously? Ah, oh, how disappointing. I suppose we should reschedule for another time then. Farkas, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. You never showed up for your lesson last evening. His beloved pet Skeever Sweetroll ran away. We spent the entire night looking for him without success. He's still quite devastated, as you can see. I even shed a tear. You can see it on my cheek. How disappointing. Perhaps we should reschedule for when you are not preoccupied with other matters then. Vilkas, there you are. You never showed up for your lesson last evening. He had a bath before his lesson. Turns out he's allergic to the soap. Got hives all over his... Uh, stick and stones. Scratched all night long. Is this really how you want to play, pup? How disappointing. Perhaps it is best we reschedule for another time. I would prefer you be at your peak strength. Farkas, there you are. I thought you said you were interested in a private alchemy session last evening. Afraid he ate the stew at the inn last night. It was full of cabbage which never agrees with him. Poor sod spent the entire night in the privy. Now that's just cruel. How was I supposed to know the stew was full of cabbage? There you are. You never showed up for your lesson last evening. Broke his favorite sword, kicking a cave troll's ass, and insisted on giving it a funeral. The sword, that is, not the troll. Nord funerals go all night long, you know. Lots of drinking. Ain't a proper funeral <clears throat> unless there is a pyre and a keg. That was only the one time. And it was a good sword. I heard that Neria was offering you private tutoring. Seeing as she is not qualified to teach here, I thought perhaps I would offer my services. Don't really think she was offering to teach me magic. Neither am I. Well, shit. Vilkas, is it? I thought I would extend to you the same offer I did your brother. Nerea is not qualified to teach here. I, on the other hand, am. The lass did offer some potion lessons, I. Although I'm not really sure that was what she was intending to stir up. Neither am I. Well, shit. <clears throat> well... Past the smash just stopped being fun and started being a whole lot more complicated. I told you to stop calling it that, little brother. And I... It does seem we have an unexpected complication. A potentially messy complication. I don't want to cause problems for Kaiden. This feels like it could become a problem. Then we'll call it a draw. And I start figuring out how to get us out of this. Preferably without being set on fire. I thought I would see if perhaps one of you might be interested in meeting later this evening, in a more intimate setting. We can't. We're probably going to have something suddenly come up that will last all night long. Seriously? I see. Tell me, does this sort of excuse actually work on Nerea? <coughs> what am I asking? Of course it does. How utterly delightful. Well, this just got a lot more complicated in a way I wasn't expecting. So Nerea. Given the consequences of those last potions, perhaps it'd be wise if you refrained from offering <coughs> your services to visitors. Any services. As if, Feralda. You're not fooling me for a single moment. You are just jealous that they both plan to seek me out for private attention. Ah, yes. So many unusual crises over such a consistent span of time. It must be very disappointing to you that so many situations keep arising to thwart your plans. 
How did you know about that? Who told you? No matter. It is merely a matter of time now, given how eagerly they look forward to rescheduling. <laughs> Far be it from me to burst this delicious bubble of delusion that you are living in where you still believe anything will actually take place. Do come tell me all about it when your planned evening occurs. I shall, of course, not bother holding my breath waiting. Feralda seems to have this absurd belief that neither of you is actually going to come and see me for our planned evening lessons. Of course, I told her that she is ridiculously mistaken, as you most definitely are. Nope. Definitely not happening. I find that to be highly unlikely. I see she has gotten her hooks into you as well. She must have paid you quite handsomely, as it clearly isn't because you found her more attractive. No matter. Whatever it was, I will double it. I'll not tolerate her getting the better of me this time. I don't think so. While it is an honest way to earn a living, it is not for my skills in the sheets that I'll ever be taking payment for. You literally couldn't pay me enough at this point. How very boring and predictable. Here I thought Nordmen enjoyed a challenge. Aye, that would be precisely the point. A challenge, yes. Being used purely for spite, not so much. Funny. And here I thought mages were supposed to be smart. I'm sure once you have some time to think, you'll realize she could never measure up to my beauty. When that happens, perhaps I will consider giving you a second chance. <laughs>